Europe is once again divided over how to tackle the migrant crisis still unfolding in the Mediterranean. France and Germany have reportedly suggested a plan for a solidarity me mechanism. During an emergency meeting of European interior ministers last night, they again suggested creating a coalition of the willing, a group of countries that would systematically admit migrants whenever they disembark from rescue ships. No, migration is a, is a huge but it, and common European challenge. It's not just a national challenge, it's not an Italian, Greek or Cypriot or Maltese challenge. So when, when faced with a common challenge, we need common solution and, and, and a common uh, reaction. So the important thing is to find a mechanism of substantial uh, and effective solidarity plus the uh, national responsibility of the members who are dealing with uh, this, this huge challenge of migration. Valérie Goria joins me now in the studio with more on this story. Uh, hello there, Valérie. Tell us more about this plan. What exactly does it entail? Well, the, the meeting comes a week after the German foreign minister called for a coalition of the willing, uh, pushing uh, to, you know, for a better distribution of asylum, asylum seekers throughout uh, uh, member countries. And uh, already last night, before, be before the council this morning, um, you know, some, some uh, ministers tried to set up a group of countries willing to systematically take in um, migrants whenever they disembark from rescue ships between now and October, this being the season uh, when, when most, of, uh, no, no, most of the migrants try to cross the, the Mediterranean and die at sea. So the idea would be for the European Commission to uh, coordinate relocation of uh, those asking for international protection in exchange for countries like Italy, Malta, Greece or Spain um, agreeing to let them reach their, their coasts, which is not always the case as we've seen. And um, as some of the interior ministers pointed out this morning when they arrived at the meeting, um, uh, they, they said it would be a temporary measure in any case before the EU is common asylum uh, uh, policy and in particular the so-called Dublin regulations which uh, um, by which asylum seekers must be processed in arrival countries be reformed and this is going to take a long time. Well, as you just mentioned, uh, Valérie, some uh, countries are resisting <coughs> this idea. Why is that? Well, indeed, uh, Mediterranean countries have long been saying that they are bearing the biggest share of the burden and want concrete engagements from all member states to admit asylum seekers on their territories. <clears throat> and this is in substance what um, the Maltese uh, Home Affairs um, Minister said this morning when he arrived at the, at the summit. Let's have a listen. I think we are 28 countries right now in the EU. We should act as 28 countries together as one European Union. So, uh, Michael Farrugia actually met um, Matteo Salvini, Italy's interior minister, um, yesterday. Um, Salvini declined to comment uh, to the press this morning when arriving at the council, but in a tweet last night, he slammed Germany and France for uh, continuing to want Italy uh, to be one of the few landing countries and called for a Mediterranean axis, uh, wanting to change the rules on migration and crush human trafficking. He claims that you know, letting the rescue ships in is encouraging, you know, people trafficking. And um, one of Italy's proposals would be to file asylum applications at EU centres outside the EU and then put those deemed eligible for asylum uh, on charter flights to, to Europe. And this actually takes up the notion of hotspots. It already exists in countries like Niger, for instance, but it hasn't been very successful until now and concerns only a you know, uh, small number of uh, people. Um, another proposal would be to address the problems in the countries of origin, but that involves a lot of work, a lot of money, and also implies that those countries are stable enough for you know action to be taken well that here thank you very much for this we wait to see what happens what unfolds when these talks continue in Helsinki 
Well, so far this year, almost 700 people have died trying to cross the Mediterranean to reach Europe. Meanwhile, Italy continues to refuse that rescue ships dock in its ports, claiming other countries should be doing more to help solve the problem. This has already prompted a fierce debate in the newly elected parliament, European Parliament, as Jack Parrick reports. Swimming for their lives in the open ocean. Nearly 700 migrants have drowned in the Mediterranean this year as they make the treacherous journey to find a better life in Europe. The humanitarian crisis continues while Italy blocks rescue ships from docking. And it's the focus of a fiery debate at one of the freshly elected European Parliament's first sittings. They deserve the openness of our arms, the safety of our welcomes and the warmth of our European embraces. And Mr. President, in contrast, Matteo Salvini is a coward. A coward because what kind of grown man watches a child drowning, gasping for breath and turns his back? But the party of Italian Deputy Prime Minister Salvini feels abandoned. The truth is that only our government and our minister, Matteo Salvini, with great courage and against any kind of insult, is trying to stop the business of smugglers and illegal immigration by saving lives. The Italian government is pursuing criminal cases against NGO captains who save the migrants. The case of German woman Carola Rackete highlighting the cross-border nature of the situation. The new EU Commission president-elect Ursula von der Leyen promises a new pact on migration. And while Germany is suggesting EU countries could sign up to a non-binding agreement where they vow to take in migrants, observers say it actually needs legal commitments. Coalitions of the willing in this area are extremely risky. Such a pact could really bring everyone together, not allow for coalitions of the unwilling not taking up their responsibilities. Finland is taking over the presidency of meetings of EU ministers and promises to make migration a major agenda issue. The number of people arriving on Europe's shores has reduced dramatically over the past year. But the disputes about what to do with them once they arrive rage on. Jack Parrick, Euronews, Strasbourg.